Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigma here, welcome back to our video. So in this one we're gonna start by playing Gorn here. If not a snow globe on him, it gives him a little bit more attack as we do specials. And the only thing his damage depends on basically is attack because it doesn't scale with anything else. And um, yeah, other than that, I did think of giving him the burning gloves. Because this is also an artifact that has an impact on attack. But only have increased attack against targets that are burning. In order to apply this burn, we need to... Uh, Constantly tag in and out, and I don't want to do that. But we're gonna have it for passive stats, and we have just like flash here for um, a little bit more passive stats. Also, Grod is here mainly for power generation. I mean, only for power generation, basically. I'm gonna try to pop the electrify stacks actually with the special two, because I've been trying to pop them with the third special, but you can pop them with the special two. I think it has a weird synergy with Poppet, or more like maybe a bug with Poppet. Mm, but yeah, there was a little bit of a misconception at the start that especially did not work. It kind of helped spread. So let's test that out again. And kind of correct the record here. We should have had this fight long ago. Yes, it does pop some of them. What if we do it on higher combo? Nah, it kind of works. Not really. It doesn't really work the same way because it did apply more duration to it. Once we get him in the corner, there will be no more trouble with him randomly doing specials. Yeah, this is kind of the way you're supposed to do this, I guess. It's definitely maybe a little bit more optimal than spamming the third special. But it's still bad. Because the values are simply low. Special two kind of works. My is formidable. I'm like doing more specials with the specials themselves, even though I'm not going out of my way to get damage on specials. I don't have dark metal cards or anything, but I'm doing more damage with the specials themselves than I'm doing with um, this actual mechanic that we're playing around with. Yeah, this gives out the power direction, so arguably I don't even need Grot here to generate lethals. Powered by lethals. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is still absolute garbage. Just wanted to show you that this specialty works, because I did kind of spread a little bit of misinformation in regards to that, and I apologize for that. But yeah, let's move on with the rest of the fights. Okay, so here I'm gonna use Girl of Steel Supergirl with Snorri Snow Globe, Harley with Dark Metal cards, and then, excuse me for that one, EPI with um, uh, Thermal Gloves. So let's get into it. But I'm sorry for the wrong cat camera position, it remained like that since uh, yesterday's sales video. Now it's where it's usually at. Or chill. This bet is definitely that convenient to use this team against. But it should be fine.
We get a little bit of a special one in there. And the brush that's it has a pretty fast animation. from Harley. Okay, block that. I mean, not block that, to tank that, because you can't really block a super move. Team stunned again. It's like we can't chain the special one into a combo. Would be definitely convenient with Girl of Steel. I guess we can use a special two here. Now can our hardly stun. And now we are at 400% damage buff. Honestly, that last special one was not the most necessary thing, but... Fine. We have so much damage here that we don't really need to play this perfectly. Okay, that went well. Let's move on to the next fight. This man is gonna get me frozen if I do too many hits against him, but the way to bypass that is to apply burning to him, and I guess Beast Boy can easily do that with puppets. So that's what we're gonna do here, and we have our passive stats and our snow globe, and the thermal gloves on Manta. I mean, I can also apply burn with thermal gloves, but that's there just for the passive stats. Though we might as well tag Manta in a bit, to just power generates. We can't disable his specials, so that's gonna be one less negative effect from puppets, but that should not be a problem, really. Let's super move here. Okay, that's definitely 40 hits. We're gonna keep the 40 hits for a bit because of our super move. And we're gonna deal a lot of damage. And we're not gonna allow him to use super move. He's not applying freeze to us because he's constantly, bur constantly burned. Yeah, Beast Boy really trivializes this fight. I mean, there's a lot of ways to go about this. You can, to an extent, with some teams, just ignore the mechanic as I'm doing with Beast Boy without even burning him. But yeah, this definitely made things a lot more convenient. Let's take a look at the rewards we got for this one. Okay, so we got... Um, oh, Multiverse Armor Supergirl! I mean, I don't need her personally, but this is a pretty goddamn good drop, because other than this, the only way to get her is through a relatively bad chest or through the arena season that comes out once a year with the anniversary. I'm actually curious, no, I do have her at 7 stars, no star ups from this, but this is this is not a bad drop as far as gold characters go. Okay, so here we have uh, Batman the Drowns with God Killer, Robin King, Robin King with Puppets, Green Lantern. and then Green Lantern with North Snow Globe. Let's get into it. Fate is a pretty goddamn annoying fight, so I'm not gonna play around. We're bringing out the big guns to take this man out as fast as possible and be the least annoyed possible by him. I've done some percentage shell damage though. Well, we can do it next tagging, I guess. 
but that's what journey speaking you start off with. I don't know why I didn't start off with that this time. But that's okay. Can just do it now. Oh, he's got no blind applied. That kind of sucks. Let's just spam this for a bit. So, okay, we got blinds. Get a few hits in there to keep up the... Um, Mania Capitite stacks. Do the third special to kind of get out of that uh, specialty there. Do we still have the blind? Yes, we do have the blind still. Oh boy, this took a lot longer than I was expecting. Not sure if he disables gears for anything, by the way. But a lot of the times we don't fret because we need to have constantly the victim debuff on him to bypass the crit resistance. We even kill this man? I'm getting a lot of non crits from Batman Drowns. Does he disable gears for might or anything like that? We're gonna fail to kill this man. So I'm just gonna spend special one Robin and hope for the best here. Come on. Come on. No, I actually failed to kill him. I mean, I could have played it better, but I didn't really give him enough respect to play it better, I guess. Hold on, let me see what's up here. Oh yeah, we had gears disabled for a mite, so we effectively had a gearless Batman the Drowned going into this. And on top of that, we also had those windows where he crit resisted a lot. Yeah, Batman the Drowned was not really doing many crits here, so we are gonna be left with a little bit of a cleanup fight. Nothing that Constantine can do, but um, yeah, a little bit annoying. Okay, right, so since Grodd is out of commission, because I've already used him with Orm, we might as well try Lord Joker with Puppet plus uh, Robin with Beta Club. This should work in theory. The only question is how easy it's going to be to activate Puppet on Lord Joker. That's it's going to be the uh, kind of hardest part of this match. Once we get that done, we should have a smooth time. Though we do have the two negative effects from Beta Club, so it shouldn't be that hard actually. Yeah, that's the burning applied. Yeah, should be a guaranteed activation on the next special one, unless she's immune to having her special disabled. Nope, it's active. Now let's try to keep it active. Okay, 18 mil already. I like what I'm seeing, 20 mil. I should spam this now. Push her to the corner. So that's not gonna be the most worthwhile progress here because she's gonna eventually super move. That's a pretty bad value. Anyway, take Joker back in. We need to keep up. Oh! That wasn't a bad value. It was not hitting the lethal at that specific moment. This is a real good value. Um, yeah, none of them can really tank this. Or can they? Maybe they could have. But yeah, better than risk it. Don't have the broad uh, attack reduction here, and we don't have the Batman to get many more mortality, so they're just gonna drop dead. I 
mainly using the third special there to buy some time so I can tag out again. We're at 37 mil, I couldn't be happier about that value. Okay, this actually went surprisingly well. Oh boy! Maybe I should use this team more often. Because that kind of frees Brainiac to go somewhere else and do some other stuff, though I'm not really sure what I'm gonna use him for. But I guess we're gonna see. Okay, so here we have Raven with Nora Snow Globe. Red Hood, Red Hood with uh, Burning Thermal Gloves. And then we have uh, Raven with Twin Blades. Uh, I didn't really have a support character to use here. I mean, I could have used Silver Bane, I guess. But. Red Hood is not really going to be too important because he's most likely... The fight is going to be over before he needs to get his uh, time extension in there. Okay, let's just get the darkness in there. Stop by. Stop backing up like that. You're annoying. Oh, what? A little bit of a special delay there. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use super move with Raiden. Or do I? The problem is we're gonna dislodge him from the corner position and we're gonna have to push him all the way back. And he's not gonna be able to do that himself at any point in this fight because we're gonna keep him power drained. Yeah, it's just gonna die, we don't have Tag and Raven. Okay, that's it for the main account, let's move on to the secondary account. Okay, so on the secondary account I got a Steam set up anyway, and this time I do have the Raven passive upgraded, so we're not gonna run with a level 1 passive. And we're gonna do it against King, which is gonna be a little bit of an inconvenient fight to fight against. I guess we can... Ah, uh, though Justic Flash doesn't do much here. Let's just roll with this. Yeah, it's a bit inconvenient because I can't really properly combo and chop this man, but it's gonna be fine because he's gonna be most of the time slow on uh, energy because of Raven constantly hitting him, so I don't have to worry about constantly tanking his specials or blocking them because I don't think he's gonna kill me by just blocking his specials, but it would waste a lot of time. He would be fine. So do we have the damage to kill him? We might not have the damage to kill him with, even with a properly upgraded Raiden passive. Can we continue the count? Now we can't. Like, it's weird because... Black Lightning has kind of the same combos as this man. But Black Lightning can do something where he kind of continues the combo if you stop at the right moment, but Raiden doesn't. Though, it looks like I can kind of combo and drop him. Oh boy! Raiden's got the free get and fast opener. Oh boy! Look at that! The, the fact I played this team on the main accounts recently, it really doesn't help because Raider on the secondary account is gonna have uh, lower duration on darkness, so I'm used to the uh, main account Raven with higher duration on darkness and that makes me almost lose darkness.
But boy, Raiden's got a very fast opener. The Moral Combat team would be so great if the enemy just wouldn't jump out of Death Hazard. Oh, no, it, it really does a lot of damage when I fail the combo interruption, though. But yeah, we don't have the damage here. We straight up don't have the damage. So we might be forgetting something here, my boy Red Foods. Almost totally forgot about him. I think I should have put classic one room instead of red hoods. That's most likely would have given me enough damage to not worry about damage here. It's too late for regrets. Oh, almost lost darkness there. My pets. We don't have room for many more mistakes, but at the same time, there's not much time of the fight either. We barely have health to combo in shop here. Okay, so somehow I managed to survive the entire fights. Look, if I play this absolutely perfectly, probably, maybe we would have killed this man. But I didn't, so we didn't kill him. Let's move on. I guess here we have Power Girl with North Snow Globe. And then we have um, Black Adam with Puppets. So hopefully this is gonna be enough. I mean, as far as damage goes, this should definitely be enough to kill this man. But I don't know if we're gonna get say, a uh, convenient tag in and not die. As long as we can manage that, Black Lightning is done. There's a pretty high chance it's, it's gonna go badly. Okay, a special one. Okay, perfect, perfect. That's gonna be a good tag for Black Adam. Well, let's get uh, the uh, infinite power hopefully going. Okay. Try not to lose it. Yeah, I think we got him. A little super move here. Speeds up the frost a little bit. We just need to do a couple of these. Come on, just a little bit more. Come on. There we go. Let's move on to the next fight. Okay, so we're gonna use Batman the Drowned with uh, Amidogo Dagger. We're gonna use Mob. Uh, Plus Quandroman and my boy Green Entrant here to buff her up a little bit. Oh boy, I remember trying Batman and the Drown in the past against this man and failing the combo interruption miserably. Hopefully we're not gonna encounter that, that little bit of an issue here. Oh, it's okay, because this is normal Captain Cold, not Multiverse Captain Cold. The Multiverse Captain Cold, for some reason, moves a lot faster. But boy, this is some huge amount of damage here. We're so far away from peak performance also. Okay, super event tag outs. We lose all the combo, but it's fine. 
Okay, don't get this clone killed because it's gonna take ages if that happens before we can tag back in. The damage is slow again because we have low combo. But we're gonna fix that. Okay, 32 here. Oh boy, this is disgustingly high damage. I really, though, I, I, I'm pretty sure this is gonna get removed, but I really hope the Batman the Drown synergy with this is not gonna get removed because so much fun and so much damage. It's not like it's the easiest thing to pull off because it actually requires pretty good combo interruption skills. It's punishing if you do a mistake. I really like this, but again, don't get too attached to this. They tend to remove um, basic hit synergies that synergize with Batman the Drowned uh, Hazard Dot damage because, in theory, it doesn't make any sense in practice. I think they messed up the code because every single time they introduce something that has to do with uh, damage on hits, it's messing up the Batman the Drowned things. I guess here you have Puppet Lord Joker, and that's hopefully gonna be enough to kill King here. We have a level 7, a level 4 nurse Snow Globe for fast stats as we have had for every single fight at this point. Get back up a bit. He's a little bit dangerous at the start because he, he's, deal he's definitely dealing some damage and he starts off with uh, a decent amount of energy. Oh boy, it blocked that body. Why do you do so much damage? Do you even have attack reduction? Decks. Also, we got crazy unlucky with the puppet. We failed to disable specials or apply burning, but at least we applied blinds. Okay, that's infinite power. Let's try to keep it. Oh, no! Well, rip. Let's move on. Okay, so here we have uh, Harley with Kamidogo Dagger. And Nora Snow Globes on the other two dudes, and we're gonna get into boss Batman here. I know Kamidoka Dagger is not the best thing, but we're doing this for entertaining purposes, and most likely I can just one shot this man and not care. They don't have the most optimal artifact. Cast just looking into my eyes. Stop. Okay, he left. I'm actually glad he left because whenever he. Oh, my bad there. Though we reflected the stun, that's, that's good. Whenever he sits like that, like upright, he's really struggling to keep balance whenever he's in my lap because it's uneven ground I sometimes move and the problem is he's applying a lot of force with his legs trying to um, be in a stable position and the pro oh well, I almost got PI killed my bad there the problem with that is that sometimes he's pushing onto my balls and that's what happened there Do I have all the passive stats though? Because, I mean, not gonna complain too much about the damage, but I feel like I have very low health on my characters. So I'm not sure if I remember to equip all the passive stats here. Though it shouldn't matter anyway, because we're gonna kill this man. There we go. That's gonna be it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. Like it if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.